It's so important to be able to play a variety of music on the banjo. Sure, the fast, loud numbers are fun and exciting for you and your audience, but when they are overdone, they lose their punch, and the audience tends to get bored. That's the time to play something like Amazing Grace. You'll recapture the attention of your audience again just by this change of pace. Because this is a religious tune, it should be announced and played with feeling and respect. The slower numbers are more difficult to play on the banjo than the fast ones because they tend to become monotonous. So things need to be incorporated in the arrangement to perk up the interest. I think this arrangement by the late Maurice Boyer from Canada accomplished that by using those triplets and eighth note runs to break up the tremolo. The tempo is slow enough to make it easy to count out each note. To get thoroughly acquainted with this number, listen to that second chorus on the tape, because that's the one played in tempo, and at the same time read the music and count each note out loud. After you've done that, we'll tune up. Okay, here's your bass string. And the G string, or third string. And the B string, or second string. D string or a first string. This arrangement is made up of three choruses. The first one is in the key of F in rubato. The second one in the key of G is in tempo. And the third one back in the key of F in rubato with a retard at the end. We'll concentrate on the first chorus, but in tempo, because after you've mastered that one, the other two will be simple. For the second chorus, I'm using an eight vibration tremolo. Now you might ask, why eight vibrations? Why not six or twelve? The tempo that you decide to play a number in will decide for you how many vibrations per beat there will be. It ends up being the most comfortable tremolo for tempo. So I didn't decide, hey, for this number I'll use an 8 vibration tremolo. No, after I had it on tape, I determined that's what it was. If you have trouble with the tremolo, you can still play this number. You can play it the way I did the first and third choruses. Basically, you hit the note and let the strings ring. So instead of this sound, <laughs> practice that eight vibration tremolo together. One way for getting the feel for it is to play four down strokes per beat and then add the up strokes. We'll use an F chord. Play this with me or by yourself until you've got it down. Here we go. One, two, Master. 